Hi everyone, this is Danny for Cupping Cakes with me, and today I'm gonna show you one more for the PJ Mask Gang Catboy. Before we start the video, please don't forget to subscribe and for sure press the bell button so you don't miss any content that I'm putting every week. And we are going to start with the blue and always I have the picture printed next to me. And since the outlet video, you guys really like it to see the picture and how I use it to not just to base myself and how it looks like, but to base myself for sizes. So I will keep showing you guys if that helps you. And we are going to start with his leg. I made a row and now we are going just to bend it a little bit and you can check on your um, picture, see the size that you need to cut it and then we just gonna bend it just a tiny bit to make his knee and he is good to go um i'm gonna let it dry a little bit and we're gonna start on the other leg i also have um outlet already on the channel and i will leave the link down below for you on the description bar and um gecko is the last one for this little you know, PJ Masks friends, and he is going to be pretty soon too. Um, I just um, decided to put Cat Boy first because I like cats. And I don't know. <laughs> I think he's the favorite of the boys here at the house. So I made the other leg, and now we're going to start the body, make a ball, and roll it up. And use your picture to measure just a tiny bit. Make a little V on the bottom where you're going to fit the two legs. And then I'm going to use the ball tool just to kind of like oval ash at the top. So the head, when I put it down, is going to, you know, fit perfectly. Now I'm just going to open a little bit of blue and I will really kind of thick snake for the tail. And if you're going to let it dry before you start setting up, already let it dry the way you want it to be. Because once it's dry, you cannot move anymore. And I'm going to cut the excess because it was too long and I'm going to set aside. Now for the head, I'm going to measure to see if I have enough clay. Even though I have a little bit less in the picture, it's because when I start making it and making the indentations and pushing it down on the table, it's going to be bigger. So I start with a little bit it's smaller in size, but stick to be enough. If to make if it makes any sense, it's gonna grow. That's at the end. I mark where the little eyes are gonna be, just like that, and I make an indentation on the horizontal way to separate the where the mouth and cheeks are gonna be. I'm just using the ball tool to really mark where the eyes are going to be because he has that mask. So you really want it to be kind of like you know deep. So you can have the impression that it's something on top of his head, not just, you know, on top of the clay. I'm going to be sure that everything is in place. You can see with the space you're going to put the eyes, the space you're going to put the mouth, and you can definitely put it on the top of your picture and then make a line where the eyes, you know, the top or the the end need to be. So you can really use that to know exactly where to start and end the parts like I'm showing you guys. I normally don't do that, but I wanted to show you guys how this can be very useful for you. And then here you can see I have outlet video and I will leave the, you know, the description, uh, the link, everything down below. And now I am going to start pushing back that, blue clay so we can after start making the mouth and then just adding clay for you know his, his skin color um you can make his a smile with the teeth and things like that i am not making it because i'm making this for a topper and then the three of them together so you need to make it a little smaller if you want to put the teeth is just put a little bit of the white clay between the mouth when we make it, the mouth and you can do that too but i am just smoothing everything out to be sure that everything is in place and you see then this is kind of like a a joker smile 
so i'm using this tool it's kind of it was perfect for what i needed he makes like a upside down v because he has that little i don't know how to explain other than say that it's the joker smile even though it's for kids and sounds really wrong but it's just that little extra visit vis and the sides that we need to leave so i was just marking it so when i put the skin color i don't forget about it so we are going to check if everything is okay and then if everything is the size we need and then i show you guys the link for my 3g eyes and this um template is on my facebook page you can go there and print it yourself and i show you how to put the resin on top of it to make this 3g shiny style and then you can follow the video it's super easy um you can even cut it with your cricut if you have one because i will leave the file the svg file for you if you have a cricut then you can just print it and cut or you just cut with the scissor it works just fine and the link is going to be in the description box for that video as well. So I'm just going to put in place and kind of squish it in a little bit because it needs to be um, deeper than the mask and the face, of course. And it uh, makes it so pretty and shiny. I have, I know those 3G eye stickers, there's been here forever and i kind of never use it if you go back to all my videos i normally paint them but i think then if you're making to sell in if you anything that makes your life easier and faster come on we need that right so i thought then why not but i don't want to buy them i want to make them so that's why I decided to share you guys the way that I figured out how to make them as well. Okay, so we're going to make two little balls and then a teardrop shape, kind of like a triangle shape for his ears. You can't um, paint black on the inside, but I think for me it was easier just to get a little tiny bit with the black clay and then fill that up. I was just measuring to see, um, use your picture just to be sure that you're not making the ears too big or too small um, so we can keep him looking like he is on the cartoon. So as you can see, I just remade another triangle in black and I'm just pushing right there. If you were wondering what was this um, tools I'm using, it's they, I think they are kind of dentist tools. I'm not sure if they are made for clay, but they are pretty cool. Um, I think I got the set for like less than 30 bucks and it really don't, doesn't stick in anywhere. And there's different shapes, like the one that I use for the Joker face and now this one. So if you guys want, I would try to find um, at Amazon to see if I can find a link for you. I really don't remember what I bought it. it was like a long time ago. But I would try to figure it out and leave the the link for you if I can find it. But it's, it's super worth it if you can find it. It lasts forever because they are like stainless steel. So you can use and wash and do whatever. Okay, so I put the ears together and now we just gonna place in the head. If you wanna make all his little light blue marks paint uh, with the clay like a different outlet, but I decided to paint this one. As always, I want to show you guys different ways to do the same thing because there's tons of them. Um, there's tons of way to make Catboy, but I'm sharing the way I do it. So you can definitely use clay for that if you want to. And now we're going to make two rows with the same thickness to start making his um, arms and hands. You separate the arms and the hand with the tiny bit of... Uh, skinnier wrist and then I kind of spoon it a little bit if it that is making sense if you look I make it the arm kind of look like a ladder like a spoon a big spoon like the one they use for soup probably my accents making that sounds really bad but um that's how I like to start the arms and the hands together because it gives the movement the the shape and then I use a little tiny scissor to cut the V to separate um, the thumb and the other fingers 
he has four fingers just like Mickey. I don't know what's up with this four finger kind of thing. Do you guys know? Can you write down below for me why? And I don't know. Some have four fingers and if everybody has five fingers, why you cannot give five fingers to Mickey and to Catboy? He's a boy. He should have five fingers, right? I don't know. That's me talking. I, you know, this quarantine is getting me crazy because I already talk too much and then I'm stuck in here. I'm gonna go cuckoo puffs. But um, and now we're gonna just use the scissor. I like this tiny, tiny one and I like it even more because it's a little curved. So it really makes your life easier to cut um, fingers and things like that. And you can find that at Walmart, probably not this Hello Kitty one, but that bird, the little bird one. I said that I think a couple of videos ago and a lot of people found it um, so if you guys want to check and I don't think it's expensive at all um, I will check if I find the link now then nobody can go anywhere we are stuck um, I'm gonna see if I can find the Amazon for you guys okay so we have one hand done I will just it, roll it over to see if you don't have any fingerprints or marks or things like that and we're going to make the other one if you want to let it dry don't forget to already put the position you want before you let it dry and now we're gonna speed it up a little bit to make the second one exactly the same way um yeah i think um pj mask was really a hit here at my house couple, like a year ago i would say the triplets are eight now and i think when they were six, maybe seven, they really, really liked it. I remember for Christmas getting all the costumes for them. But now they said that they are too old for this. Can I do this in my life? Um, I was so happy to show. Oh my God, look what I made for you. They like, no, mommy, we are too old for this. <laughs> it's funny how they change every year what they like. So that's why, you know, we never know what we need to make for cake for customers because they keep changing. So... That was an order I never made for my own kids, but I made it for um, Sophia is the little girl that is having a PJ mask party. So I'm just making a little V shape, like a teardrop shape and flatten out and putting right in front of the, the bubble side, right in front of the foot and putting the rest under. He has that little, um, it's like a sneaker, right? That little protection. So we going to do that on both of the feet you also can just make that when you're painting it but since it's gonna go under and i'm gonna let it dry i prefer to do that now and now i'm just gonna use the same dentist set had this round one that is really cool and then we're just gonna mark the face i am not going to make teeth but if you want it you can open a little bit more than i did for the smile and just put a white little tiny snake there and then close it up again then it's gonna work just fine and then i just made a space and a little ball for his nose mark the joker side <laughs> sounds just so wrong and he, i'm just marking a little bit of the eyebrows a little bit more just careful because i mark it like kind of straight and make him look bad and so I made it very rounded like it is in the picture and it looked so much nicer. And now this little baby blue acrylic paint, I think I got this at Walmart. I'm just using a very skinny liner and I always paint on my arm first to be sure that the paint is well distributed in my brush. And then we're gonna start painting his face. You do one eyebrow and then we're gonna do the other side. And I'm doing right on top of that indentation that I made it for the eyebrows. And now we're going to start the detail on his head. He has this tree, a stripe, kind of like light bulb. I guess he's electric. No, right? There's a Harry Potter cousin. I'm not sure. Um, see, I'm talking way more than I know. I'm crazy. This quarantine needs to go away. Everybody needs to feel good. Um, let's try to be home and wash your hands, um, especially if you're working with clay and things like that for customers, wash your hand every time, um, hand sanitizer, you know, um, all that, because we need to care about 
everybody else, not just ourselves. And we want this to be over soon because this coronavirus is getting crazy. Um, okay, so let's go back to Cat Boy and I'm still making the stripes. And that's what I was saying that if you guys want to make with the clay, you can't. But I think in this case, it's way easier to just paint it. If he was scared to, um, especially to make the logo on his belly with the, you know, the paint and the brush without drawing, you can get a, like a white watercolor pencil, maybe, and then draw or just make it like a tiny, softly indentation, you know, like I did for the outlet wings, you know, then I put the paper on top of it and I trace it. You can do it too, so it can help you out to know how to paint or where, where to paint if you're starting and you kind of scare. But um, try, if you want to try once on the paper before you try on your topper, it's fine. And just trust yourself, do with love, and I'm pretty sure you can do it. So we're going to take our time and make this Catboy logo. I always forget to say in my videos, I say in the beginning, but then I don't say anymore. Um, I see that a lot of people do press the bell button on my channel. Um, YouTube keep changing all the whatever analytics they have and things like that. If you don't push the bell button, even if you did, just push it again and you know, unpushed and push it again. Because there's a lot of people saying that they don't see the new videos, they don't see the new content, they see it after a week, they didn't get notifications. So I contact them and they said, just ask everybody to push it again, to, you know, unpushed and pushed it again. Then that should be working now. And you guys, if you have like a notifications on on your phone or whatever you get, your YouTube, you're gonna see pop up then I have a new video and then you can be the first one to see it and you know don't miss anything because this since I'm we are all inside the house I have a lot of time to do more um more fun things and I hope I can bring a lot of tutorial a lot of content for us right now then we have all this extra time to put ourselves and don't go crazy inside the house so we can try new things and learn new things together so if you want to see anything in special, I know then I have Paw Patrol coming. Um, there's more things on my list, but if you want to see something in special, please don't forget to let me know down below because then when I'm looking for something to make in a video, um, I can get my list. Normally I do what I'm selling it or the customers are asking me to make. So if I'm making it, I'm already making the video for you guys. But sometimes when I just making the video, I go to my list and I pick something. So if you have something that you want to learn, um, some trick, then you don't know how to do it. Like the, the 3 G I. I know there's, there's a lot of channels don't, don't preach this. They don't show those little tricks because they want to sell that or, you know, things like that. And everybody needs to make money. Everybody needs to survive. I totally understand. But um, I like to share. And that's why my my YouTube channel is here. Is for share whatever I know um, and what I'm using, the technique or whatever, the trick or whatever it is, I, I share. So if you guys want to see it, um, don't forget to push the button the subscribe and push the bell button so i made these little stripes on his tail and now we're going to make on his two legs and two arms and then after that it's just let it dry um i'm using the light air dry clay so it's very fluffy and then we end dry kind of get a spongy feeling so i can put all the toothpicks even if i let it dry overnight but if you're using fondant if you want gum paste, if you use cold porcelain, do not let it dry overnight without putting your toothpicks because then you're gonna have a really big trouble to put it the next day because it's gonna be hard as a rock. So a lot of people ask me if it's okay to use um, 
cool porcelain or clay for toppers. Of course it is, especially the air dry clay that I'm using now. It's totally non-toxic, it's for kids. So it can touch, even touch your food. It's not gonna have any problem for anybody that is eating that cake. But um, just remember that some steps you need to think ahead. So if you're using something that is gonna harder and it's gonna be hard to do it and to put together, don't forget to put your toothpicks or your wire, flyer wire or something like that. So now we're gonna finish his head. I let it to be the last one to finish those little details because it's easier to be dry. So we're not going to make a mess. And then we're just gonna make this little light bulb that he has here and the whiskers. And then I let it dry overnight normally to set it up, especially because I was making for you guys Owlette and the Cowboy and Gecko. So before I put it all together and one cake topper on one cake, I like to see all of them so I know how to space them out. Um, it's kind of like a type two. If you're making something for a cake, then you're making more than one character, like there are three of them, right? So finish all of them before you kind of set them up on your base so you know how it's gonna look like. So that's why I always let them, since I'm gonna wait anyway, you know, for them to be ready, I let them dry overnight before I try to put the head on the body just to be sure then everything's gonna be dry and nothing's gonna lose shape. And now I'm just going to make the whiskers. the other side let's do a little faster <laughs> and he is done we just need to put them together and then as you can see since I let it dry overnight I need a little glue so I am just going to start putting two picks and a little bit of white glue um, and every single piece then is together just to be sure then everything is gonna stay where I am. And I also can, again, use that picture to see how I want him to position, especially with eyes, the way they're looking, things like that, because it changes, you know, if they are looking to the side, right across you, things like that. So don't forget to use the picture and we're gonna put them all together. I like also to put a little toothpick for the tail since I am going to put the tail up. I like when I put hands up and things like that. I always put a little bit of um, the toothpick there just to be sure that it's going to hold it. And I like to pre-make a hole. Like I make a hole on the body and now I'm making a hole on the tail and then I will put them together. Because toothpick, they tend to move when you push things together. And then if it's too long, it's going to pop out to the other side. So always... Be sure then you toothpick is, you know, long enough. And he is done. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe. And leave me a comment to let me know what you want to watch. This is more videos here for you guys to pick. And I talk to you guys pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.